Vedanta explains that actually what happens is that there's various coverings that, that cover consciousness. Okay. Particularly, the first one is ahankar, which you know, often is translated as ego, but it may be different to ego as used by Western psychologists. Okay. Okay. So, unfortunately, there's a word, same as soul, used in lots of different contexts. Yes. Ego is also used. Mind is also, you know, all these yeah, terms yeah. have different connotations. You know, Veda will talk about ahankar, buddhi, which often is translated as intelligence, means completely different from IQ. Mana, which is mind, different from, you know, you know. So, yeah. um, we, we, uh, we are unfortunately struggling yeah, with, the, the, the with a very uh, with a paucity it, yeah. of vocabulary. Yeah. But the principle is that there is, the soul somehow or other is coping, as you say, trying to kind of cope and adapt to existence down here. Yes. In here. And there is the covering of ego, there is the adoption of um, a material persona, which you refer to as personality. And fair enough, we'll, we'll use the word personality in that context. Okay. Now, I actually, you know, and the description of how that manifests, you know, I think we're, we're, we're in agreement there. The only kind of aspect that I would kind of add into the mix okay. is to consider that the conscious energy, which is the total, that consciousness has a psyche, has a, mm -hmm. and that's why it's love. Mm -hmm. Because there is a, a you know, and I, I'm not even sure if I'm not using the word personality or uh, persona. I don't like because persona is something which is a conditioned, or a, yeah. you know, almost like a, well, it a has false. A sort of, it has a different context. You know, it, well, it doesn't yeah. seem true a persona. You know, yeah, yeah. whereas what you know, what is the word for that kind of reality that is us? You know, the, the you know, mm -hmm. you know, at our you know infinite, boundless, pure soul level. But it's, it's consciousness, but there is something there that is, when it comes into the material world, that's the thing, you know, that's still, that we're, it is the soul coming into the, the body, and it is the soul which ultimately is, in, you know, it's, uh, it's activating, it's the empowering, it's the, it's the real energy. You know that's uh, that's manipulating mm. everything. Um, so the that spiritual psyche is the source of the material. You know the the reason that there's a material per personality is because at the ultimate level mm -hmm. there's a spiritual psyche. Yes, okay. You yeah. see, and there is something to min to mutate. And it's mutated by the process, by ego and all the other influences. Yes. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, even when we strip the material personality away, we ultimately get back to the pure psyche or whatever you know <laughs> we could use yeah. of, you know, the soul that can experience yeah. universal and uh, you know pure conscious mm -hmm. and pure unconditional love. Mm. That's I, I, and, okay. and and when you actually when we talk it like that, we're probably not very far apart then. No, I, I I sense that we're not far apart at all. Well, let me add something else to the mix as well, which may or may not be the difference between us. I don't know. You see, my sense is that the soul. It's a bit like, you know, going back to another discussion we've had about free will, right? The soul. Again. I'm going to find it not easy to describe this, but I'm going to try and put it in the best way that I can. It's almost as if the soul takes a back seat, right? And says, okay, I am ultimately, you know, your, you know, your, your oneness, your, your ultimate, uh, you know, I am your ultimate being, if you like, your ultimate... Um, originator, I don't know, your ultimate god, you might say, your, your ultimate, I'm, I'm your ultimate power base, and you know, any of these things, all of these things, it's inclusive, not exclusive, and I'm just coming up with words, you know, whatever I'm coming up, coming up with, but I am also, um, you know, I'm overseeing what's happening, but I'm letting you do what you do, and be how you are, in other words, it's like the influence of the soul is it's almost like a neutrality 
you know, it's there and it's and it's guiding where it needs, but it's like you know, it allows us to have the free will to choose but and to you're be. You're making a very big want to be. distinction between this soul, which I take to be the trans, the wonder soul, the trans, yeah, and us. Yeah. In the, well, I've got to chunk it from, down to bring it to the level of us, haven't I? So. How can I bring it down to the level of us otherwise? But we, but and so are we different we from the soul? Well, uh, how then does it explain how we behave in this life? How, why don't we behave as unconditional love? Well, that's a, that's a good question, which, which is I think comes back to that's this. That's what I'm kind trying of, to explain. This, this, this nature of the quantized aspect that there is Brahman can be oneness, but. It, it can also exist in its kind of quantized forms, where in that case you could say there is a link, but there is almost a separation. Mm. And that's why some of the philosophers have said that it's neither oneness nor difference, it's a both. strain, it's both. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, Again, it's, and it's because, and because we're talking, ex exactly, it's yeah. inclusive. You know, contradictory things can exist you know, together. And unless they do exist together, you haven't got the, the full mm. picture. Mm. So, yes, there is that kind of feedback. Now, what I also would like to suggest is that just as oneness can have this quantized circumstance of incarnating within the material world, yes, it can also have a quantized existence in spiritual reality. Where in the material world it manifests as this material personality, which get, goes so far away from conditional love that you wouldn't even recognize it. Correct. Whereas it can also quantize in the spiritual reality and form an existence which yes, actually yes, yes. Okay, I see encapsulates now. Yes, 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 yes. perfect so you're con seeing, unconditional yeah, yeah, love. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're seeing a spiritual, in a sense, you're, see, you're saying, well, correct me if I'm wrong. You're, you're, you're describing a spiritual essence, if you like, which is beyond the human essence. Is oh, that yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I agree with that. You see, what I'm trying to so do... Just, uh, is what I'm, I'm saying is that just as you can have a, a sort of material realm, you know, where we create you know, a whole scene around us, yeah. but actually screw it up yeah. with our lousy consciousness, yeah. there's also possible for either yeah. the oneness... The yeah. quantized kind of yeah. element yeah. helps to manifest another realm, yeah. which is almost that perfect community. Yeah. Yeah. Not yes. non-human, yes. yes. non-material, yes. non-universal, but just it's actually you know, an aspect of the oneness. It's almost... Uh, <laughs> you know, how do we describe these things? <laughs> yeah, but, but this, is, this is my concern with the word reality. You see? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, it's like because we perceive reality in human material terms, do we see spiritual essence as reality? Is it reality? Well, I would, I mean, if, from my point of view, I would feel much more comfortable calling that reality than I would well, the material. Well, so would I, so would I. <laughs> okay. So would I. I mean, I, you know, we've had this conversation before. Yeah. This is why I sometimes, you know, balk. But I, it's not that the world around us isn't real. However, ah, it's only real based on five sense perception. Exactly. It's only real because you have a sense of touch. Yeah. It's only real because you have eyes to see. But it's, but there's that's the only there, reality. There's no. But at there the is quantum something. level. None of this exists. Yeah. We've had this conversation yeah. before. But, We're uh, just jumping dots. I know. But in re you know whether you know it, at quantum level it's just jumping dots or not doesn't make any difference in that. There is something here which feeds through my senses and gives an experience to and that's, my consciousness. And that's perception. And that's perception. But I, 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 I'm perceiving something. But the, the illusion, in, in terms of the Vedas, is not so much that it doesn't exist. Mm. I know at one point we can kind of analyze it. The point is it doesn't exist as we think it exists.